Hi everyone, my name is Faraz. Uh, I have 10 years of experience in ERP implementation, support and project management. Uh, I have worked on several products which include X2012, R3, Dynamics 365, FinOps. Uh, so the objective of this YouTube channel, starting a new YouTube channel is to share my knowledge and experience with the world. This video is about obviously FinOps and the topic uh, is purchase acquisition workflow we're going to discuss about it so let's just start so today topic is purchase acquisition workflow using manager hierarchy it's a very cool feature and I would like to discuss it how we can configure it properly so what's the agenda today the agenda is that I'm gonna I'm gonna share a work, workflow scenario with you we, we need to understand what workflow scenario is and what we want to achieve from the system it's very important in order to do that we need to do some setups so we need to make sure these setups are, are, are con configured in FinOps and then we will see how this workflow works okay so what's my scenario my scenario is Elisa is a requester she wants to create a purchase acquisition she has some spending limit and she do not have any approval limit but she has some ending limit so what Elisa can do is she can create a purchase requisition and she will submit to her manager if the purchase requisition approval amount that is the purchase requisition amount is less than the per less than the spending limit of Elisa then it does not require any approval but if it's more than her spending limit obviously it requires her manager approval if the amount is so the, this is first scenario Second scenario is if the amount is in that is purchase execution approval amount is more than the approval amount of uh, manager, then it should go to her manager manager. Okay, so we will discuss three of them. So the first thing first, the important thing is we need to define signing limits. Signing limit can be defined into different. I mean, signing limits can be defined for different documents. But right now we're talking about a purchase acquisition. But if you look into FinOps, you can see that you can define it for purchase order, invoice, expense report, extra. As I said, there are through two things: approval amount and spending limit. Spending limit is the amount you can spend. You are allowed by the company to spend that amount easily. You don't need approval for that. So in this case, Alicia is allowed to create or spend two fifty dollars. But if she creates more than, if she creates a PI which has more than amount. 250 that should be approved by her manager and if she creates more than 10,000 then then it should be approved by her manager manager okay because her manager approval amount is still 10,000 you can have you can work you can configure workflow that it should be approved by both the person or you can configure the workflow that it should be approved approved by the appropriate person okay so that can be can be done so the second important thing is reporting hierarchy. Uh, so when you configure workers you know, or define workers, that is basically HR. So if you just configure only workers and define that these workers or these positions or are report to 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 his boss to her boss. For example, over here purchasing agent is basically reporting to purchasing manager. A purchasing manager is reporting much material manager. If you're defining that, I think. Uh, so in my most of the projects I would like to do that this is the basic HR we give to clients if even they are not implementing HR it just, this should be the basic HR we should be implementing as a consultant so if we define that we can easily use that hierarchy for uh, for for our approval that can be used for your expense reports that can be used similarly for your per purchase acquisition approval you can also use a custom hierarchy that's not in this topic right now we're using manager hierarchy which is very very common so we're using going to use that so point here is we need to make sure that this is defined if it is not defined you can we cannot achieve the workflow properly I mean we cannot achieve our workflow scenario second most important thing is we need to make sure that the people involved in the workflow has a user attached I mean a person should be attached to that user if it's not then the workflow won't work I mean every user ID for example for example if I'm using these two people for a for, for a workflow scenario that means they both of both of the 
these people should be attached to a user ID. If it's not attached to user ID, workflow will fail. Okay. And the last more the most important thing is purchase acquisition workflow. How we will configure that? This part obviously every part we're gonna see in this system, but this part I will show you in system how I have how I have configured this in FinOps. So let's just see in the system. Okay, so let's first define signing image. So go to burger menu, click organization administration. Okay, and go to setups and you're gonna find signing limits here and select signing limit policies. So I have already defined one for the demo purpose, but I will tell you how we can define a new signing limit. So just click new name, for example, demo demo three. So select the company you want to define. For example, I want to find this one. Okay, go to define default signing limits. Create policy. Click new. So select the document for which you want to define the signing limits, um, signing amounts and approval amounts. So for our example, it's purchase acquisition. So you're going to select this. Uh, select put some approval amount like for example this. USD currency. Its spending limit should be less. Yeah, should be equal or whatever you want. So we're going to put like for example USD. Some description and then attach it to a role or to a job sorry for example accountant okay so I have already done this for the demo so I have used this one for the sake of our demo so let's see what the signing limit is so I've selected the company my signing limits So in this case, I have said that 250 is an approval amount or it's so for this user, I don't want any approval amount. So I'm going to put 0.01 so she can spend, Alice can spend $250 and if she wants to spend more than 250, it needs to go to her manager. And if it's more than uh, 10,000 approval of her manager, like it's 10,000 of approval of Inga, if it's more than that, uh, it should go to Carl or it can go to one by one first Inga and then Carl. Is depending upon how we configure the workflow okay so the sign limits are defined here and I have selected the roles here I keep on saying roles basically job sorry so purchasing agent right for this guy it's purchasing manager and for this guy it's material manager I think yeah, so it's material manager. Okay, so close this. So the next bit is to check how the manager hierarchy is configured. So for that, we need to go to HR, burger menu, click human resource, go to position and select position here. Since we are working with three positions, so we just need to check whether they are reporting to each other or not. So if I'm going to try purchasing here. So uh, Alicia is basically purchasing agent. Need to check this. Click here. And there's two way to uh, review that it's a properly attached or not. Not the so first way. First way of checking the hierarchy is to click on the user purchasing agent, for example, and click on view in hierarchy. So over here we can see Alicia report to her manager Inga and I can just click here to see who an Inga reports to. So Inga reports to Carl and if I click Carl I can see the whole hierarchy properly. So we are concerned over here. So just, just concentrate here. See material manager as the boss and boss as a manager called purchasing manager and then we have a purchasing agent as a as a user. Okay. So that's our hierarchy and that I think that's properly configured that's done and the other way to check is click on the position and ensure that the reporting to position is assigned okay 
so my user is attached to this guy so i just need to make sure that the reporting agent reporting position is at, attached properly or not so that is attached that is fine that means if this is attached the hierarchy config can be can can be automatically configure and will be seen in view hierarchy if this position is not assigned you can't see it in view hierarchy okay so that is done just double check that whether this worker the manager has the reporting position as well so just to check report to position click here yep see it's she is a purchasing manager is reporting to card okay so that's that's it that's it okay so the next piece is to check whether users are attached to workers or not i have already done that you can do that from using the form call users so i'm going to directly jump to workflow go to purchase acquisition procurement and sourcing module go to procurement sourcing workflow and click purchase acquisition review okay this is this is the workflow we want to use i have used the element called approval okay so i'm just using this one what i have configured in finops is uh, i have configured an automatic action I want that if a, if a user creates a purchase acquisition which is within his or her spending limit it should automatically get approved it should not require any manager approval so what I have done is I have configured a automatic action for that so click here give a name whatever you want to give so what I have what's the condition is enable first and the, then the condition condition is purchase acquisition approval amount that is your purchase acquisition amount there are two type of uh, fields here one is purchase acquisition amount and one is purchase requisition excluding tax amount so this field is including tax amount so I have configured this in this way that if the purchase acquisition approval amount is equal to or less than purchase acquisition requested spending limit it should automatically get approved so that means if Felicia creates a purchase requisition for an amount of 250 or below 250 it should automatically get approved as it does not require any approval back because that's within her spending limit okay so that's what this automatic action will do just done close double click this so step one so now the case where the spending limit is less than the purchase acquisition amount so for example if Alicia creates a purchase acquisition of amount 1500 USD dollars so what will then happen so what I have done is I have first configured a condition I have tell the system run this step when this condition match so what's the condition is if condition is that the purchase acquisition amount is greater than the purchase acquisition requester spending limit then this should this workflow should run okay other other than that we have already configured our automatic action that means if if it's below spending limit should automatically approve it's more than spending limit it should get go for a manager approval okay so we've done this step now I need to assign it click assignment click hierarchy click your manager hierarchy here and select requester okay and then I have done a stop condition what does stop condition mean stop condition means that this workflow need to be stopped somewhere right so if somewhere if, if Alicia creates a purchase acquisition of $1,500 and then it should go to the manager manager you remember Enigma has a has a uh, approval limit of $10,000 so that means with this is within within the 10,000 approval limit that should that stop that this workflow should stop there if Alicia creates something more than ten thousand dollars then should system should route this uh, purchase acquisition to Carl okay because the Carl has the Carl has the uh, approval limit of fifty thousand dollars okay okay so click on uh, hierarchy option so there are different uh, options there uh, one is assigned to all users so let's take an example that's much easier to uh, understand and grab so if Alicia creates a purchase execution of $1,500 would that need to be approved by uh, uh, 
any ga or do you need to approve by both the managers okay so for fifteen hundred dollars most probably it will go to just any ga and then stop or so let's take an example of forty thousand dollars so do you want it to get approved by both the managers first the purchasing manager Ninga, and then the card so if you want that scenario just you need to select this and if you want to select the last retrieve user that means the most appropriate user for example in my example if it's for forty thousand dollars purchase acquisition is forty thousand dollars it should only ask Carl to approve it because that's above approval limit of an Inga. okay so you can select both the options the way you want okay so that's done and now let's see this in the system okay let's create purchase acquisition now we will create two purchase acquisition one with 250 dollar and one with 1500 dollars okay and see how system works so burger menu go to procurement and sourcing module and go to purchase acquisition and click purchase acquisitions click new let's just give a name so spending limit just to give a name click OK add line select item procurement category oh, I'm gonna select procurement category cleaning products one and put 250 sorry click save and submit the workflow if you want to put some comments or else just submit We will see this should be automatically approved so this review status should get approved let's just give it a minute so see it got approved now that means workflow went okay you can go into workflow and check the history whether our automatic action worked or not yep so automatic action over here work true took the action and it automatically approved so that's went very good close this close this let's create another one okay yep at lines same process save yeah press save again submit so you can see this one is still in review that means at uh, went for manager approval and it's waiting for someone to approve so let's just double confirm that click on workflow click workflow history okay so automatic action should be false so it was false no action taken brilliant it should be it should assign it to the manager so let's see yep it went for the manager and it's waiting for approval so that's it guys this is how you can figure it and enjoy please don't forget to mention comments and if you need some help just post uh, scenarios or email me some scenarios and i can i can guide you with it okay thank you very much cheers